I'm Zachary Tirango. I work with Equity. And I represent the Equity Group Foundation. And that is why I'm here. And in Equity Group Foundation, we train on financial literacy. Mapo ya pesa. And how these people can be able to improve their lives, improve your income, improve what you do, and do it with an income generating goal. So financial management. All of us who are in this hall are related to food, right? Whatever you are doing in is food. Studio. And that is why we are here, so that at least you'll be able to manage our finances in the food and agriculture. In this life, in agri, everybody is learning after the money, right? Everybody wants to get wherever they want to be, but the expenses and the actual things that want to be met by you are still running after. When you get 100,000 and you, you, you say to yourself that now I am there, other things comes up and make sure that 100,000 that you have is not enough, right? That is what happens in life. When you get a million, you seem to be comfortable, right? But expenses and other things comes too. And that is why we are here to do financial management. In financial management, we do these things. Financial training, these are the things that we train on. One is budgeting. Two, savings. Three, financial products and services. Four, debt management. And five, insurance. Why do we do this? We do this, uh, and these topics are very broad, to enable you to manage your personal finance. That's to make sure that you make informed decisions. And why we do this? We do this to strengthen the behaviors that, that leads to increased savings, prudent spending, and note the word prudent. Adaraini that. Prudent spending and borrowing for sound reasons. And underline borrowing for sound reasons. That is why we do training. And of course, it will change your financial behavior. Once you change your financial behavior, you get to financial freedom. This is what I have said, what we do. Budgeting, savings, debt management, insurance. We have added digital literacy. That digital literacy is how you use digital uh, platform to make sure that you make uh, informed decisions. And in, for the agripreneurs, you do agribusiness. In agribusiness, we do costing. And how do you cost your product? How do you cost your product? From the beginning part of it to the selling, is that product sold at a profit or at a loss? So that is why uh, we, we have added that. And then we have what we call market linkages. If you are producing, where are you selling? Not producing to look for market, but producing for the market. What we to Nafanyanga Nini? We produce, we look for the market later. You produce and look for the market later. If you are doing broilers, you are looking for the market and it has already hit the harvesting period. And it's still, the broilers are still consuming, right? Is that loss? Is that loss? Yes. That's why we say you produce for the market, not producing, looking for market. And we start with the market uh, as we produce. So that is why we do the market linkages. So uh, separation of farm business and budget and household budget. What you use in the, in the, in the, in the house and what you use in the poultry farm, they are two different budgets. So what you buy, you buy some sugar to trice in the kitchen, and you buy feet to trice in the poultry. Now, which falls in the, pot, in the business budget? The poultry? Feeds. What about sugar? But do you budget for it? Thank you. Then we have plans to save. How do you save? And you save even if it's limited income. You have to save. Borrowing loans. And properly utilized loans and improperly utilized loans. 
That means we have bad loans. We have bad, bad loans. And good, what are bad loans? Those loans that you have not planned how to use the money. What are good loans? Good loans are always those loans that have in, been invested and they give a profit out of it. We need to, to ensure our property. We need to ensure our assets that we have. And in equity, we have, as I said, we have bank insurance, which will ensure all your property, which will ensure even your flock. Do you ensure your property? You do. They ensure the animals. Animals are cows daily. What about pottery? There was another, another, another thing that I saw. All pottery in the house, 3,000 of them dead. And the farmer was gazing at them and crying. What do you think? Why he was crying? Why was she crying? Because of? Because of the loss. And that is why insurance came in to make sure that it mitigates whatever comes. And it is very cheap for us to do that. When you don't invest your money, you, you trace your money, all of it, and when a hunger strikes, it strikes you because you don't know where to get more money. When you have money, when you have money, there are two things I want you to do. One is a mass that you save, and two is a mass that you invest. Those two things must be done. Because when you have money, when you have money, you can spend what when, when you want to do. You can save and you can invest. Once you save, that money that is saved can be used to spend when there is no income. When you save, you can invest that money that has been saved. And after investing, you get profit. And after you get the profit, that profit can be? Hello? But if you only spend, there is no more income coming in. Hello? Hello? How do you get all this money to spend, to save, and invest? How do you get that? I want you to close your eyes. Just close your eyes. Close your eyes. And from your farm, look like anything that brings income in your farm. Cross away. Anything that brings in money in your farm. Open it now. I know you have gone through your farm. And anything that brings money into that farm. Are you together? And the income... Like now you are in production, either portrait or daily, that is your main income. And your main income is that, that big tap brings in to your bank. That's your door. That big your door is your account. It is your bank. So anything that comes in, in your farm should be input in that your door, in that account. Are we together? So that Anything that comes in, then you can see savings, the savings tab, and the expenses tab. So the savings tab, equation your savings, aka equal to your savings. Ah, equal to your expenses, ama equal to your. Why? And the savings, you can see there are many savings that fill in and they are kept aside. Why? Because the goals that you are saving for are many. You are saving for school fees in a jar, unaweka kado. Hello? You are saving for an asset in a jar, unaweka kado. That is why we have so many savings there. And after you save, you use your money, the leftover. Assume you have 100,000 and you want to utilize that money. How much goes to expenses? 100,000. How much goes to expenses? I had a thousand, and that is all the money that you have in that account, and you want to use that money. How many? How much goes to your expenses? I have already said savings, uh, income, and savings, and savings should be a percentage of what you get. I said how much expense? 
20 and then you expense. So 20% of 100,000. So 20,000 should go to savings. So expenses should be 80. And don't ever, ever be misguided that your expenses is 100,000 and you don't save. You have 100,000 and your expenses is 100,000. So that means there is no Oh, Mumesema. <laughs> if it is a hundred thousand, the savings should be twenty thousand. Eighty thousand should fit into your expenses. So, how do you make sure that eighty thousand fits into your expenses? Always, always follow your expenses and your spending. You get your expenses and Prioritize them. The 80,000 should be used to feed your expenses. Because once you use the savings, the goal for the savings arises immediately. Umetumia. <laughs> I want us to do a reflection and I will ask three questions. No, three people for this question. How much have you used in your airtime? A thousand or more. How much have you used for your food from, January, from day to one to date? A lot of money. How much have you used for transport for this month? She is also not aware. So that means we don't follow our spending. So anytime that you are doing a spending, let it be in your budget. The question I ask again, do you budget for the money expected or for the money that is in your pocket? Money in the pocket. That is why you ever see that vicious poverty cycle. Because anytime you are planning the money in the pocket, the time it adds from the pocket, do you utajua pesa simei? Eh. Na ukipangia yu pesa, unapagia ukiwa wapi? Tiki, umepata 100,000 cash kwa mfuko. Umeenda kupagia ukiwa wapi? Kwa supermarket. Huh? Kwa hotel. When you, are, when you are planning for that money that is in the pocket, and you are in a hotel, which money are you using? The same thing money. Look at us. He thank myself first. I like that. You thank yourself? Uh-huh. Thank you. But <laughs> when you use your money that is in the pocket, or you, are, or you manage the money that is in the pocket, any other thinking, effort, thought of looking for, man, for more money gets out from your head to where the money is. Fikira yeah. sakutafuta pesa singine Sinatoka kwa kichwa Sinaigia mahali pesa umeweka Until that money is Off The time you get the last coin That's the time you realize I had no money for the next expense From today Even if you don't learn anything else For financial management Always budget For expected income we did this reflection. I have asked for the last one month. Umetumia pesa ngapi? Chashikula, hakuna. Transport, hakuna mutu wa mijua. Airtime, hameniambia a thousand plus. That means there is no. So always do a budget. And a budget is just a summary. And see there. It's a summary of expected. So analyze your farm and know how much money am I expecting from this farm. What are my expenses? Write them down. Then see whether whatever is coming from your farm or from your income is enough to meet your... Situ kona mashida miki? Unaona pesa kama itakuja miki, lakini inakuja mashida inakuwa miki kuliko pesa. Sidiyo? Lakini ukipangia ile pesa amba unatarajia, Utaona ya kuwa, ata hii pesa ikikucha, haita marisa mashida yangu. So, 
fikra za kutafuta pesa zingine sinaigia where will i get money to solve these other problems because even i had a thousand i need 200000 where do i get a hundred thousand to make sure that all my expenses are is that making sense and please do a budget <laughs> it's just a plan on what money you want to spend and where the money will come from and anytime you are doing uh, the budgeting kindly separate the two the personal and the financial and the business budget okay the business profit is the one that feeds the household is whatever feeds the the household otherwise you end up doing officious work let me learn through this and i have had said about this who is zakari i said i'm zakari right this is my budget so my dairy farm it will give me 30000 My pottery farm will give me 10,000. My maize farm will give me 25,000. So, my total income will be so that my savings should be plus. Okay? Then the expected expenses to meet. Write all of them and you can see I have included eh wala walikuwa nafikiria ati za you pass we kukura kutirudishia shukurani dio hiyo so it should be there so if you get a surplus or a deficit you know okay if it is a deficit then you look for more money elsewhere if it is a profit or uh, if it is a surplus then it should go back to savings okay don't add more expenses because you have gotten asapras yes ikweda nikuda kitu nilikuwa nimesahau dio imebaki ah let that money go to savings thank you you can save with a goal and i said savings should be goal minded don't save because you are told to you save with a goal i want to buy a cow of 200000 so i'm saving to add that goal are we together and then things will be okay these three things of or the little um, modes of savings one saving up ladies in the house hi hi yes saving up unachukua pesa you need a 200000 unawekelea pamoja paka zifike 200 and ladies can do that right men umesikia sawa it up to 200000 we have an account we have an account for saving up djg account giving you a goal then we have saving through you save kidogo kidogo ikifika mahali unafanya kitu these people like zakari hawezi kana na pesa mmoja wao lazima hello people like zakari hawezi kana na pesa you save through ikifika mahali unafanya kitu ni sawa saving down comes with borrowing you borrow buy a cow then you pay as you milk there and that is where our bank comes in borrowing that's where i am and i want to conclude here on loans one borrow with a need borrow with a need two know the cost of that need three know where to get money to repay the loan four know the alternative source of pay the loan ilikuwa kwa kuku kuku ikikufa nitatoa eh muzi subuane na ule alikukope then know the uh, the the uh, the time to pay the loan and lastly if you cannot pay loan as stipulated kaidre save kaidre save save up save through okay leave alone kwa sababu tunajuana na nyinyi wale watu hawalipa gironi kama unajua unajijua amjambo okay. Tupigie mapofi tena. Asante uh, sana. My name is uh, George Muiga and I'm coming from the Department of Agriculture in Equity. Kuna department ya ukulima. But there is a department of uh, food and agriculture in Equity. 
and specifically i work with the livestock farmers na watu wa mifugo watu wa kuku wakulima wa kuku all into my role in the bank and my role is to support poultry farmers on a daily basis and uh, very fast i want to look at the solutions or how we support a poultry farmer because that is uh, that is uh, the theme that we have today na tumeambiwa alone to cope kulingana na hitaji so the need for today i want to believe is uh, something to do with poultry farming to start with as a farmer you want either to scale or to increase production or you want to start poultry farming and i've seen from the list that we have uh, some of us doing 500 1000 uh, you know like that na wakati unaanza kufuga you have a plan and uh, most probably you will start with a structure a structure uh, ya kufugia si ni kweli so is the bank uh, in a position to support you to uh, construct a structure a poultry structure for the broilers or uh, for the layers and the answer is yes you need uh, mawes and mabatis and vitu za mjengo normally so all you need is to have a plan with your fundi that uh, i want to have 1000 2000 birds uh, this is the cost and you can visit the nearest branch from where you are but we don't want uh, just to look at it from uh, just mujengo we are also interested once we do the structure how many birds do we want to bring ndio and assuming one chick is 100 shillings or more and you have a, you want to have a thousand in the farm how much money is that it is 100000 sini pesa mzuri sini pesa mingi so you may not have it uh, at 100 but the bank can support you to pay the 100000 to our partners uh, kenchik now we won't stop there you already have structures you already have drinkers and waterers and now we have the chicks so how about the feed and we've been uh, taught here that for the 30 or so days that we'll have the birds zitakula si kenchik will support us to know how much feed we require and the cost of the feed so ukikuja pale kwa bank that is uh, how we look at it from day one until the last day we do not want to give you feed for 20 days kwa sababu we will not complete the cycle tuko pamoja so we want to do a solution that supports you from day one until the last day when the chicks or rather when the birds go to the company then we start a new cycle okay so uh, the work of the bank is to come with solutions zile mkulima na hitaji kwa ile ufugaji na kuna mambo mingi hapo katikati including uh, brooding si tuko na jiko tunahakishia kuku ndio maneno yote tuna tunaangalia so by the time unakuja kwa bank let us understand all the needs i know tutakuwa na proforma ya kulipa kampuni on uh, say the chicks and the feed but kuna mambo ingine haiendi kwa kampuni kama hiyo makaa kama kijana wa kazi labda we are brooding na stima ama na gas ama na briquettes hizo zote si ni pesa so when you are discussing uh, about your project uh, about supporting 1000 2000 birds we need to understand all those needs so that by the time you are saying ika zote is 500000 or 1 million we have supported the business from end to end na mkulima hata kosa kitu uh, along hiyo uh, ufugaji by the time anauza anauza kuku so any need that you may have yenye inahusu ile ukulima as a bank we are able to listen understand and guide uh, the farmer and support you to grow your birds na tuko na other partners uh, including uh, wale wanatupea these uh, drinkers and feeders 
hata kama ni agrovet the local agrovet you have partners in biogas wala wanataka biogas ya kuku you are already working with somebody at the bank so hitaji yoyote ya mkulima please this is the the place or the bank that supports the farmer to do all uh, or to have all those uh, solutions once cycle imeisha then we start another cycle so that uh, at the end of the year uh, tunaweza sema tumefanya all these cycles now for those who want to scale you have 500 birds umejipea 2024 by december i want to do 5000 sinika safari pia kidogo so sisi kama bank tunataka kutembea na wewe step by step from the 500 you have into 1000 1500 until we maximize or we optimize in a little space yenye uh, tuko naye kwa hivyo uh, any need that uh, inahusu ufugaji ya kuku whether ni kununua madawa whether ni vaccines uh, na nimeona very nice uh, products uh, that were presented here na hii yote si ni pesa inatakikana but by the time uh, you are coming to boro let us understand uh, zile drugs zitahitajika for the 30 or so days let us understand uh, the vaccines zile zitahitajika so that we do a package yenye iko na kila kitu so that tusiende already tumeshakopa alafu tume realize na sina kitu fulani and i need 60000 to do it so also make us understand that easy uh, vitu zote is what we require so that we do a solution that supports the business and supports the business fully and this one is across the branches i know we have a branch here but hata wenye wametoka mbali na hii branch you can still be supported uh, in the nearest branch ile uko nayo and here we have uh, maybe a challenge labda ulienda mahali ukaona kama hatuelewi biashara ya kuku eh, kindly kwa sababu tuko hapa eh, ongea na sisi pia na mahali labda tulikosea si mtu anaomba msamaha labda mtu alienda akakuta mtu hajui broila ni gani anafikiria ni ya miezi sita kumbe ni ya mwezi moja si ni kweli so hiyo maneno yote na feedback eh, pia ni mzuri tupeni feedback mahali hatuelewi eh, mkulima mahali either we are too slow mtu haelewi hii maneno inataka haraka so that turekebishe na next time ukikuja tunaweza kusaidiana na wewe na unatoka pale kama umefurahia kwa sababu mimi kazi yangu ni ku make sure mkulima wa kuku amefurahia hiyo complaints uh, throughout you do one cycle na tumeuza na tumefurahi then uh, we grow the business together kwa hayo machache kwa sababu ya muda sitaki kuongea sana but uh, invite me ni kuja kwa shamba zenu uh, tuweze kuangalia shamba hiyo ndiyo kazi yangu mimi sina shida kutembea kwa farm so that uh, tuweze kuwa support na kuwa support uh, fully